वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो थोड़ा मेरा साथ हुआ करता है मंडे टू फ्राइडे सवेरे सत्त तो लैके अठ बजे तक मंडे टू थर्सडे रात में दस तो लैके ग्यारह बजे तक और सैटरडे दो बार सज पाने दोपहर दो तो लैके तीन बजे तक और रात अठ तो लैके नौ बजे तक इस प्रोग्राम के अच्छ मेरा साथ देने जैना अरमासी जोड़े कि एक रिलेशनशिप एक्सपर्ट है अच्छ असी गलबात करा कि कपल्स जोड़े ने उन्होंने मैरिज तो बाद खास तौर उत्ते क्यों दरारा पैदा ने कि कुछ किया जा सकता है तो ये जेकर काउंसलिंग की लड़ पे तो लैनी क्यों जरूरी होंगी है स्वागत करते हैं जाना का अज्ज के इस प्रोग्राम के वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो लिटल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ सिंस हाउ लॉन्ग यू आर एन रिलेशनशिप एक्सपर्ट सो आई बिन स्टडिंग रिलेशनशिप्स फॉर अबाउट 5 इयर्स एंड आई हैव हैड माय प्रैक्टिस फॉर अ ईयर ओके सो जना व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिलेशनशिप्स एज सच ओवर द इयर्स व्हाट वी आर फाइंडिंग इज दैट स्पेशली इन द साउथ एशियन कल्चर आल्सो द डाइवोर्स रेट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग एट अ वेरी फास्ट पेस व्हाट आर द रीजंस फॉर दैट You know, I think the problem is that people don't adequately prepare for marriage. I think that as a society, we don't really know what makes a good marriage. Mm -hmm. And so what I help couples do is to actually prepare themselves for marriage, to learn what they need to do to help their marriage, to thrive, to be happier in marriage, and to really help each other through the tough times. Okay. So tell us today now, when you say that you uh, tell people how to have a healthy uh, marriage, you know, so it is, of course, before the marriage, you start counseling with them. and even sometimes in the first couple of years right yeah. why is it necessary in today's world to have people like you who are going to give advice for relationship isn't relationship a, a, you know a, a feeling uh, that you live with each other and mm -hmm. you understand each other why is it what are the reasons first of all let's talk about those that uh, these things are creating more problems in our lives today so i think these days relationships are very complicated mm -hmm. there's money issues there's family issues there's social media so a lot of trust issues go into that as well mm -hmm. and a lot of us are getting married older right. so we've had previous relationships that have failed mm -hmm. so i think for a lot of us we need that extra help to decide okay what am i doing that's good in this relationship and what right. am i doing that's kind of destructive for the mm -hmm. relationship right so when you start about the counseling you know like uh, what are the things which you uh, make sure that the people should know uh, before or after they have entered into a matrimonial alliance I think what's really important for a lot of people is the way that they communicate. Mm -hmm. So learning to be there for each other during fights and learning that it's okay to fight. You know, right. there's nothing wrong with fighting. Uh -huh. um, but what happens is sometimes we let those fights overtake our relationship. Mm -hmm. So our relationship becomes very negative and it's mostly fighting. So what I help couples to do is to learn how to heal themselves after the fight, okay. to connect and just to have fun with each other. Right. So uh, you know like you said of course fighting is fine uh, but that should not be a point which leads to break up. Uh, in your experience what are the factors which are leading to that separation are this uh, is it just that thought that i am better than the other person or there are some other factors also i think there's a lot of factors that lead mm -hmm. to it um but i think that one of the main things is that when we fight there's certain fights that we have that we're going to have for our entire relationship right people fight about the same things in their first year as they do in year 50 you know okay. what i mean <laughs> So when we allow that to overtake our relationship I think that's what leads to break up where we're focusing only on the negative. Okay. And we forget to really appreciate what's good about the other person, appreciate what's good about our relationship mm -hmm. and let the other person help us and help them. Right. But uh, Jenna isn't it aligned in, in our thinking that uh, you know what you have said that uh, understanding uh, each other or that uniqueness what one has to celebrate the uniqueness of others also. Mm -hmm. But in this world where we are taught about individualis individualism and uh, materialistic thoughts Do you think that these are uh, some uh, major factors which lead to separation? I think in some couples being too individualistic definitely can lead to breakup mm -hmm. um because they they don't let themselves rely on their partner right. or maybe their partner is too individualistic and won't let them rely on them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that that can definitely lead to it. And I think that being able to be a part of each other's lives and a part of each other's families right. that can also lead to break up right when we have family issues that we can't resolve right. that becomes very intrinsically negative mm -hmm. family used to play a very important role earlier especially in the south asian culture right. but now youngsters or as a matter of fact uh, as you said earlier also that marriages are happening late now mm -hmm. uh, families can they still play a very important role in this and what what kind of counseling do you give during these kind of circumstances when uh, you know nobody is listening to each other and both of them are trying to say that we are right and the other person is wrong yeah 
Families play a huge role in relationships these days because Vancouver is such an expensive city. Mm -hmm. A lot of the couples that I see live with their in-laws or with their parents. Okay. So there's that whole dynamic that you have to go through where you're into a new family and you have to decide how do I fit in, what can I do to help out, how do I maintain my boundaries while I'm in this new family. Right. So a lot of the counseling that I do for these couples has to do with maintaining their own sense of self but also allowing those people into their lives. allowing. Okay. Um, your husband or wife's family into your life in a mm -hmm. way that's positive for everyone. Mm -hmm. You talk about uh, seeking help. Yes. Uh, generally, uh, men have hesitation in coming forward and uh, asking for help. Or is it just a general thinking that men don't come forward, or women also are hesitant in coming forward? I think that I think women and men can sometimes both be hesitant. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, the woman is more invested in the relationship in that she thinks about it a little bit more. Right. Um, and that's just the way that we've grown up. Mm -hmm. So she might recognize that the need for help before the man does. Mm -hmm. But when I found it in my couples is that when they come for therapy, they're both really motivated. Okay. You know, once they reach that point where they realize that therapy can help, mm -hmm. it becomes almost a fun activity for them because they see the results in their everyday life. Right. Yeah. What about extramarital relations? How, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what role do they play in creating that separation? I and what are the reasons for that? Yeah, I think a lot of times we look outside the marriage when we're not feeling that support and that love from within the marriage. Mm -hmm. um, so I think affairs a lot of times are symptoms of mm -hmm. a bad marriage. Not right. a bad marriage, but a negative marriage. Right. Um, and in order to avoid that, really we need to start connecting with our partner more. We need to start having more fun together, mm -hmm. you know, being intimate with each other and just connecting on all levels in our lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, now with your experience, uh, what you have told, we have talked about the negatives. Mm -hmm. Now, how to create those negatives into positive? What role can counselors play and what kind of uh, advice would you like to give uh, to our viewers today who are uh, passing through this kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, struggle? You know? So what I, uh, how I assess my couples mm -hmm. when they come in is that I ask them, how many negative interactions do you have for every positive interaction? Right. So generally, the rule for a happy relationship is mm -hmm. five positive interactions for every one negative interaction. Okay. So a positive interaction could even just be smiling, how's your day, sitting on the couch together. Appreciating each other. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I tell them is don't try to limit the negative, right. just boost up the positive, you know? Mm -hmm. Respond to your partner a little bit more. Just take little small efforts throughout your day to connect, right. and that tends to boost up the positives in your relationship and mm -hmm. really it can offset any kind of negatives that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, when this kind of struggle is going on, what is your advice? Uh, this has to be a constant uh, communication with the counselors or what you are finding out is just giving this kind of uh, knowledge to them can create about the change which is required. I think knowledge is a very important part of counseling. Okay. And a lot of the couples that come in to me, we spend a lot of time just educating them on relationships and what mm -hmm. a healthy relationship is. And then we help them to integrate that into their own unique situation. Right. So typically people can improve their relationships within six to eight sessions. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't take too long to right. get. And in the first week, in fact, they start to see results. But of course, the step, they have to come forward and seek help. Exactly. That's the most important part. Right. And these days, it's not as stigmatized to go to couples counseling. A lot of people go to couples counseling. And it doesn't mean anything about their relationship. It just means that they want a happier life. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much for your information. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Josie, I'm going to talk about Janane Sanudasya, a relationship expert. मैं उन्होंने ये सवाल पूछे कि आज साउथ एशियन भाईचारे में भी यह समस्या आ रही है खास तौर पर नवे जोड़े साढ़े बच्चे विह कराते हैं बहुत ही देर तक विह चल क्यों नहीं रहे हैं तो जिते इन्होंने गलबात की हैगी कि अज पॉजिटिव इंट्रैक्शन घट हो रही ने नैगेटिव जी चीज़ा ने सामने ज्यादा आ रही हैं इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक सोच बद रही है पर इसका यह मतलब नहीं कि ठीक नहीं हो सकती सिचुएशन इस वास्ते मदद लैनी कोई माड़ी गल नहीं हैगी गए उस जमाने जो कि एक मैरिज काउंसलर को जाके तुम कुछ पूछते सी एक स्टिगमा हों सारी सोच बदल रही है जेकर कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रही है तो उस वास्ते जरूर मदद लेनी चाहिए गलबात करनी चाहिए बैठ के तो फैमिलीज एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले कर सदिया ने इस सारी समस्या को खत्म करने वास्ते विह एक पवित्र बंधन से लेकिन अच्छ सोशल मीडिया या होर इनवायरमेंट जो है जिस विच की तब्दीली आ रही है उसका असर मैरिज से भी पै रहा है इस वास्ते बजाय कि सिचुएशन खराब होए पहले ही जो कुछ ये साइनस आन तो बैठ के आप सुलझा की कोशिश की जाए या फिर किसी मैरिज काउंसलर को जाके इनफॉरमेशन लैके सलाह लैके अपने जीवन में फिर वो खुशहाली लिया सकते